Hello, you are watching the news broadcast daily and following Saturday's headlines. A Vietnamese delegation led by Minister of Industry and Trade Vu Hue Huang attends APAC ministerial meeting in Indonesia. Vietnam's total import-export volume hit nearly 70 billion U.S. dollars since the beginning of this year. Vietnam Japan Spring Festival features traditional culture and food of Japan. The APEC ministerial meeting kicked off in Subaraya, Indonesia, on April 20th. A Vietnamese delegation led by Minister of Industry and Trade Vu Huy Hoang attended the event. During the two-day event, various issues and initiatives were tabled for discussion to prepare for the APEC summit slated for this October on the Indonesian resort island of Bali. Trade and investment liberalization lie at the heart of the discussion. Straight ministers debate ways to develop infrastructure, promote investment and restructuring towards establishing a free and open straight area by 2020. Addressing the event, Indonesian Minister of Industry and Straight Gieta Wirijawan stressed the importance of APEC in the global economy as it makes up as much as 56% of gross domestic product and 44% of global street. He emphasized the fundamental role of infrastructure in APEC's process to integrate with regional economies as well as sustainable economic growth and equality among Asia-Pacific economies. A number of issues to support the multilateral street system and APEC's priorities in 2013 were also discussed. On the sidelines of the meeting, the Vietnamese delegation is scheduled to hold bilateral meetings with officials from the U.S., the Republic of Korea, New Zealand, Russia, China, Canada, and other member economies to discuss issues of mutual concern, including the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. According to the latest figures released by the Vietnam General Customs Department, the country's total import-export volume has hit nearly 70 billion U.S. dollars since the beginning of this year, up to 19.7 percent over the same period last year. Of the total, exports reached 34.41 billion U.S. dollars, a rise of 19 percent while imports hit 35.35 billion U.S. dollars, up 20.3 percent. In the first half of April alone, export revenue reached 10.55 billion U.S. dollars, a rise of 4.9 percent compared to the second half of March. Exports from FDI Enterprises in the first 15 days of April totaled more than 2.7 billion U.S. dollars, raising the total figure from January the 1st to April the 15th to nearly 19.95 billion US dollars, up 25.9% from the same period last year and accounting for 58% of the country's total export revenue. In the first 15 days of April, Vietnam imported 5.88 billion US dollars worth of goods, an increase of 22.9% from the second half of March. Rise in imports were mostly seen in computers, electronics, spare parts, vehicles, machines and mobile phones. Northwestern region attracted over 10 million visitors in 2012 thanks to a tourism development cooperation program by eight provinces. The figure has released during a conference in Hanoi on April 20th to introduce the province's tourism's potential and call for investment. We have more. The eight provinces involved in the program are Lao Cai, Yin Bai, Sun La, Hua Bing, Phu Tho, Ha Zhang, Lai Chao and Diep Bien. The program aims to reduce poverty in the localities by promoting tourism. Initiated in 2008, the program has generated positive results. The number of visitors to the localities has increased. 
Last year, the figure rose 7% over the previous year. The program has improved living conditions for local residents, especially those from ethnic minority groups. Experts said that the eight northwestern provinces have abundant tourism potential. Each locality is designing its own tourism promotion projects to attract more investment and creating their own tourism brand names. They have also agreed to support each other to boost development in the region. A seminar on developing tourism in Vendong District in the northern province of Guangning opened on April 20th. The event was co-hosted by the Provincial Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism and the Vendong District People's Committee. Participants said luxury tourist products cannot be offered if the Vendon landscape is spoiled. According to them, coastal areas and islands should remain intact and untouched, especially in Bai Tu Long Bay. Tour operators also share localities and foreigners' experiences in organizing tours. They suggested that Vendon should pay more attention to human resource training and ramp up infrastructure in the district. In particular, prices of tourist services should be kept stable. Tourists shouldn't be overcharged. The beauty tourism minister Nguyen Phu Nga and mayor of the Italian city of Florence, Matteo Renzi, inaugurated 77th International Handicrafts Trade Fair, which Vietnam is invited to participate as a special guest. As many as 16 Vietnamese businesses are attending the annual fair, which opened on April the 20th in Florence, the capital city of the Italian region of Tuscany. According to the deputy foreign minister, Vietnam's participation in the event aims to popularize its image, culture, and people, particularly to enhance the friendship between the two countries. On this occasion, Vietnam is not only presenting its handicrafts, apparel, and seafood, but holding performances of traditional dances and music, which have received the attention of a great number of visitors. This is within the framework of the Vietnam Days in Tuscany from April the 17th to the 28th. Earlier on April the 19th, the Vietnamese embassy coordinated with the Italy-Vietnam Friendship Association to hold a roundtable seminar on Vietnam and Florence's relationship. The Vietnam-Japan Spring Festival opened in Hanoi on April 20th, featuring traditional control and food of Japan. The festival attracted a large number of visitors, especially youngsters. The highlight of the festival was the Yosakoi dance performance. The dance was introduced in Japan in 1954 and has been popular across the whole country since 2005. Over the last three years, its popularity has grown amongst Vietnamese youngsters as it rivers the typical culture of Japanese people. I loved Japanese culture even before I learned this dance. I find the dance very interesting. It helps me improve my health and understand more about the culture and people of Japan. The dance requires teamwork. All 60 performers execute the same movement. It helps us communicate with each other, teaching us to work in a team. Pavilions highlighting traditional art and origami, the Japanese art of folding paper, attracted many boys and girls. Viet Anh has practiced the art for two years. It inspires her and encourages creation and patience. By studying the art, we not only understand more about Japanese people, but gain a more competitive view of Vietnamese and Japanese culture, therefore acquiring new knowledge and promoting culture in Vietnam. Through this event, we hope to convey that the Vietnam-Japan friendship will last for generations. The younger generation should continue promoting and consolidating the ties between the two countries. The festival, 
part of activities to celebrate the 40th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Vietnam and Japan is also a chance for the two peoples to exchange and boost mutual understanding while creating a fun platform for youngsters who love Japanese culture. I will come to the end of our news today. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.